honor and privilege to now welcome them in. Congratulations, graduates.
I have to look at what I'm watching, make sure I, I was told to make sure I said either good morning or good afternoon, depending on how long we took. So good morning, everyone. <laughs> Juan Sanford is going to lead us in the singing of the national anthem. Kindly remove your hats if you are able. performance. Good morning again. I'm Michael Godfrey. I'm the Associate Dean and welcome to our 2022 commencement. On behalf of our staff, faculty, and students, our college, I offer congratulations to our graduates. Welcome, Welcome to the families, to the families and, friends and friends who joined us, join us today. today. Thank you, Thank all, you for all for being with us. With us. I'm, pleased I'm pleased to introduce, to introduce the distinguished members of our members platform, platform party. party. And as, and I, as ask, I ask uh, to read their, read their name, name, I ask each to stand and remain and standing until, until all have been introduced. Been introduced. First, First, Dr. Dr. Patrick, Patrick Lee, our interim, interim department chair for the Collins College of Hospitality Management. Dr. Neha Singh, Singh, Director, Director of Graduate, Graduate Studies, Studies for the Collins, Collins College of Hospitality, Hospitality Management. Management. Tin, Tin Wen, Wen, our 2022 valedictorian. Patrick, Patrick Sue, our 2022 Julian A. McPhee Scholar. Scholar. Dr. Spryak Coley, President, President of California, California State, State Polytechnic, Polytechnic University, University, Pomona. Pomona. Dr. Dr. Jennifer, Jennifer Brown, Brown Provost, Provost and, Vice and Vice President, President for Academic, for Academic Affairs. Affairs. Greg, Greg Patterson, Patterson, our commencement our speaker, speaker and founder and President, President for Tribal, Tribal Magic. Magic. Mr. Mr. Kerry Whelan, Chair, Chair of the Collins, Collins College Board, Board of Advisors and, and Senior, Senior Vice President, President for Bon Appetit, Appetit Management Company. Company. Thank you Thank all you. for joining us today. Please be seated. Please be seated. Students, Students, Mr. Jim, Mr. Collins, Jim Collins, our respected, our respected namesake, namesake, of, the respected of, the namesake of the college and our founding, and our founding member, member of the college's, of the college's Board of Advisors, advisors has, a has a special message, message for you all. For you all. Welcome, welcome to, to the Collins College, 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 College graduates, graduates tonight. Tonight, you can you be can very, be very proud, proud of what you've, of what achieved, you've here achieved here at the university, here at university. And we are, and we are certainly very proud of you. Proud of you. Uh, uh, I can't, I can't wait, wait to find, to find out, out a little bit a little more, bit more about, about what's going to happen, happen in, in the future. future. And I know and you're, I know you're anticipating, anticipating 
that, that for, yourselves. for yourselves. You're going to have, gonna a, have a, a wonderful time. Wonderful time. And, uh, and uh, you're going to be looking back, back, back and thinking and about, thinking about the time you were at Cal Poly. We want to wish, we you, wish you the very best of luck in your future endeavors. And hope that you'll come back from time to time and let us know how you're doing. Thanks for the time you spent here. And good luck to you as you move through your pathway of life. Thank you, Thank Mr. You, Mr. Collins. Collins. Well, well, graduates, graduates you've made, you've made it. it. You've, you've excelled, excelled and are graduating, graduating from, one from one of the nation's premier, premier hospitality, hospitality management, management colleges. colleges. We are, known, we are as known as global, global leaders in hospitality, hospitality education, education because of graduates, graduates like you who go into the world and make a positive difference. We're confident that each of you will make a significant and lasting impact on the world. It has been a grand honor having you as students with us at the Collins College. As a college, our commitment is that we, our staff and faculty, will continue to move forward and make the degree you are receiving today more and more valuable as time goes on. As you take your next steps in the profession, keep in, words, keep in mind the words of Maya Angelou. People will forget what you said, forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. I know that you all have hospitable hearts, and I know that you will all do well. Every year we recognize the graduate, the undergraduate with the highest grade point average <clears throat> as our college valedictorian. This year we're honored to have two students who are both graduating at the top of their class with perfect 4.0 GPAs. Tin Wen, please stand. Tin transferred to Cal Poly Pomona in fall of 2020 after completing his courses with honors at Cypress College. Tin achieved academic success while concurrently excelling in food and beverage positions in industry and serving as a peer advisor for the Pineapple Club, <coughs> director of communications for the National Society for Minorities in Hospitality, and he's going to begin his post-graduation journey this summer at Residence Inn in Goleta, California, in Marriott Voyage Global Leadership Development Program. Please join me in congratulating you. Patrick Sue, please stand. Patrick began his journey at Cal Poly Pomona in fall 2018 as a first-time freshman and he's completing his degree in four years with a minor in supply chain and logistics from our College of Business Administration. <coughs> Patrick achieved academic success while balancing various lodging positions. He served as Vice President of Internal, Internal Affairs for Eta Sigma Delta International Hospitality Management Honor Society. He's going to begin his journey with Schneider Development Program this summer with Schneider Electric in Chino, California. Please join me in graduating Patrick. Nice job. I now invite President Coley for her welcome and introductory remarks. President Coley. On behalf of the entire Cal Poly Pomona community, your fellow students, the faculty, the staff, alumni, and supporters, I welcome you to commencement and offer my most profound congratulations to our graduating students. This milestone is even more significant when we think about the last two years of a global pandemic and our need to pivot to virtual instruction. But through it all, your stamina, your resilience, and your hopefulness prevailed. And I could not be more proud. A college degree represents years of hard work, preparation, overcoming self-doubt while remaining focused on your goal. And this began long before you enrolled at Cal Poly Pomona. This is a great personal achievement that will open countless doors of opportunity for you. 
And regardless of what you pursue after graduation, my wish for you is that you recognize the benefit of a Cal Poly Pomona education and that you will stay engaged with us. And in addition to the graduates, I also want to recognize the many people who were instrumental along the way. I thank the outstanding faculty who shared their knowledge and their scholarship and have been your co-travelers on this educational journey. I thank the advisors and outstanding staff across campus who have played a role either directly or indirectly in this accomplishment. And I thank the family members, the friends, and many supporters who encouraged, mentored, and assisted you. I thank all of you for being a part of this journey. And this shining moment is unfortunately dimmed with the passing of our friend and colleague, Dean Leah Dobson. She gave so much to the Collins College and her passion for the success of her students and her colleagues was resolute. We honor her memory with our celebration today. And I ask you to please join me in a moment of silence in her honor. Thank you. Please remember that commencement is indeed a beginning, not an end. It is the doorway into the next phase of your lives. May you do so with confidence, knowing that your experience at Cal Poly Pomona, a prestigious institution of higher learning and the model for an inclusive polytechnic university will always be there for you as both motivation and as a guide. And in whatever you pursue, I hope that you will see the value that you bring, that you will see your strengths, your talents, and have the confidence to not allow barriers, obstacles, and others to dissuade you from providing your gifts to our world. I close with these parting words adapted from writer Iyana Van Zandt. If you doubt your progress or regret some choices or lack confidence and put yourself down, always remember that you're doing just fine. Remind yourself that no matter what it looks like, you are doing the best you can and always getting better. Encourage yourself, support yourself, Forgive yourself, and don't compare yourself to others. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to try to be your best. Ask for support when needed. Be authentic and respectful to yourself and others. Value and appreciate differences, and don't judge without understanding. And may you remember to celebrate every little thing about yourself. Congratulations, and I wish you good health and happiness. Thank you. Thank you, President Coley. Now it's my privilege to present the Julian A. McPhee Award. McPhee was president of both Cal Poly Pomona and Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. The staff and faculty of the Collins College selects a graduating senior with exemplary academics, active involvement on campus, and a commitment to bettering the community. This year our award goes to Patrick Sue. Patrick, please stand and join me at the podium. I mentioned I mentioned Patrick's stellar academic performance earlier. 
Patrick has been active since his first year at the Collins College. He was in the Pineapple Club, received numerous college and industry merit-based scholarships, participated in our professional mentorship program, and volunteered at our Career Expo, our Welcome and Welcome Back Fall Barbecue, at our Innovation Speaker Series, and at our annual Open Houses. He, completed, he competed in the Smith Travel Research Competition as a member of our Hotel Market Analysis Team, and he also provided meaningful information on tours to prospective students, VIP guests, as a Collins Ambassador for three of his four years at the college. I also hear that he was never party for any of those activities. <laughs> And he did this all while earning A's in every class. Please join me in congratulating Patrick Sue. Good afternoon. Uh, first, I welcome and, and thank the friends and loved ones of our Class of 2022 graduates for joining us today to celebrate our amazing achievement. Now to the Class of 2022. Congratulations. We've survived these past couple of years where we laughed, cried, had class in our PJs, ruined sleep schedules, and definitely procrastinated more than we should have. I learned a lot during my time at Collins, not only about hospitality, but about myself and life as well. I learned to stop wishing I could change things that already happened because there is no value in doing so. I learned how easy it is for people to part ways in life forever. It is a sad truth, but a truth nonetheless. Most importantly, I learned that good experiences can turn into legendary ones when you spend it with those who matter to you the most. From small occasions to tremendous ones like today, remember to be around your favorite people for each of these moments. Finally, as we take the next step into the craziness life holds, embrace the challenges, eat great food, and treasure the laughs. Congratulations again, Class of 2022, and to infinity and beyond. Thank you, Patrick. Today we're pleased to hear from Mr. Greg Patterson. Greg became the general manager of the Beach Club in 1982, and he spent 34 glorious years there as, his general, as their general manager. Stepping aside for the next generation, and he began a new adventure as a full-time writer and speaker with his new company, Tribal Magic. Greg was also a 14-year adjunct professor for us here at the Collins College. He used to show up on a motorcycle <laughs> and, and carrying watch. a broomstick. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have his broomstick today. <clears throat> he also is a featured presenter at various club management seminars, club management conferences, and hospitality forums around the world. He teaches club management courses for the Club Managers Association of America's Business Management Institute in both Level 2 and Level 5. He writes for numerous club magazines and golf magazines, and he's the author of Reflections on Club Experience. It's my honor to introduce Greg Patterson. Thank you, Michael. First of all, I'm happy to be on, happy to be with you today to celebrate you and to celebrate Cal Poly for helping you become the you that's graduating today. I'm celebrating you for what you've achieved, for committing to the collegiate journey, for studying lots, for taking the tests, writing the papers, and burning the midnight oil. I'm cel <laughs> Now, I know that's not true for all of you. <laughs> I'm celebrating you for your resilience you were challenged by the coursework, 
challenged by the money, challenged by the time, challenged by the virus. You are challenged by the selection of the right courses at the right time. I'm celebrating you for your curiosity. You've taken strange courses, explored the spectrum of opportunity, asked questions, seen things you knew nothing about, <laughs> dug deeper into things you thought you knew, tried stuff that was way outside your comfort zone, pursued things you never considered chasing. I'm celebrating you for your eagerness to throw yourself out there into the world, to taste the adventure that's life. I'm celebrating all of you parents way out there in the back country, all you parents, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, and friends for supporting your graduate in their long, difficult, and rewarding journey. Your encouragement of and enthusiasm for commitment to education helps make their collegiate journey happen. Let's give them a hand right now, graduates. Give those parents and friends a hand. And I'm celebrating Cal Poly for what it gave you. It gave you the curiosity to seek the what, the why, the where, and the how of people, places, processes, and things for giving you the eyes to see possibilities in the future, for giving you the tools to do what needs doing to make those possibilities happen. And on a deeply personal level, I'm celebrating Cal Poly. I used to drink caffeine out here before I talked. I have a very special connection to this school. I'm celebrating Cal Poly for being such a special part of my own life adventure for giving me the opportunity to teach, for opening up my world to writing and speaking, and for connecting me with a great community, a great community of faculty, staff, students, and graduates, and for enlarging and enriching my life in a way that deserves a very big and very personal thanks from me. I'm so proud of each of you. Hold it, just give Cal Poly a hand. Give him a hand, all of you. I'm so proud of each of you, so proud of those who've supported your collegiate adventure, and I'm so proud of Cal Poly. It's been a long journey from year one to graduation. You've committed the time and the effort to the academic journey. You've worked hard and done well, and your reward is access to the great postgraduate adventure. Life is an adventure, a journey that's filled with risk and uncertainty, a great unknown. There are no straight lines, no easy answers, no roadmaps for doing this thing called life. You'll start here, go there, and end up someplace else. You'll be searching for you and your definition of the good life. Confused, uncertain, challenged, but buzzed by the wonder of that adventure. Each of you graduates is feeling the excitement, knowing the great life adventure is about to begin, as I like to say, and I was saying before the, the President Cooley, class is easy, life is tough. <laughs> right? You're feeling the excitement, knowing the great life adventure is about to begin. A future that's filled with mystery and opportunity, risk and rewards, and it's filled with, Art, would you not agree, the buzz, right? When I graduated, when I graduated as an undergraduate, as a history major, way back in the distant past, I was lost, fumbling around without a clue about what I was going to do, where I was going to do it, what I needed to know, and who I was going to do it with. But I was filled with the spirit of adventure. I was primed for doing the Hemingway, accepting and embracing risk and uncertainty, buzzed by the not knowing, just like you. And during my wanderings, I ended up in Los Angeles needing a job. I was starving to death. I became a busboy at a country club. I knew nothing about hospitality. I fell in love with the hospitality business. I became a waiter, then a wine steward, then a maitre d'. Then, knowing my love of the business was deep and profound, I pursued a graduate degree in hospitality, became a general manager, and while doing management, spent 14 years as a part-time adjunct professor here at Cal Poly. Give Cal Poly another hand. started writing and speaking now, decades later, old, gray, wrinkled. I'm still feeling the buzz for the great adventure, the buzz of discovery, the buzz of reflecting on what I see and do, the buzz of connecting with interesting people, the buzz of hospitality, 
and the buzz for the Cal Poly connection, which has never ended. I graduated and journey away from the warm embrace of the collegiate experience. Exactly what all of you are leaving right now, that warm embrace. Life is about to arrive. I tried this and that. I'd like to say I touched the stove, I felt the heat, I got burned, but I learned. Just like you, you're about to do. What you are about to do is touch the stove. You will be burned, but you will learn from each of those burns. What a buzz. And why, you might ask, does hospitality satisfy my love of adventure? Why does it satisfy your love of adventure? Why does it give us this lifelong buzz? Why have we committed to an education in and a career focused on hospitality? I suspect that you figured out, like me, a lot sooner than I did, that you've got hospitality soul. We discovered that doing good things for others makes us feel good. We found out that you, we like working with others who've also got hospitality soul. We found out what that, that we like being part of a team committed to doing good things for other people. We who love hospitality like doing different things every day, attacking problems that we never knew anything about. Relishing challenges that surface, accepting that there ain't no roadmap to get us from here to there. And hospitality is a platform for doing things that fill us with joy. Creating the team, teaching the team, motivating the team, analyzing the issues, solving the problems, and delivering, and delivering big happy to a world that's desperately short of big happy. Let me tell you what our hospitality mission is. Once again, our job is to deliver big happy to a world that's desperately short of big happy. All you would do is read a newspaper, ladies and gentlemen, and you know what I'm talking about is true. Cal Poly became and remains a huge part of my life adventure, has become a huge part of your life adventure, and has become the foundation you'll need and you'll use to enlarge and enrich your life. Keep this in mind. Cal Poly and the experiences you've had here will enlarge and enrich your life. To get the most out of your life adventure, you'll need a few tools. Now, what's interesting, when I was an undergraduate, nobody talked to me about the tools I was getting. But as I look back in my old age, you know what I discovered? They were giving me things that I only now, in my old age, I can appreciate. Consider these. First of all, maybe most important, be positive and see wonderful. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're doing it with. Keep in mind that life is neutral. How you see the life experience is everything. Choose to see wonderful. Next, be curious. I love it. Students always ask me, what's the most important thing that I should gather from Cal Poly? And I said, this is what it is. Be curious. Curiosity is nature's original school of education. Curiosity is a powerful engine of education, insight, and the good life. Look under the rocks, ask questions about people, places, things, and ideas. And remember that in your professional life, you will be judged by the questions you ask. Keep this in mind. In your professional life, you will be judged by the questions you ask. No questions and you will remain dumb as a rock. Right? <laughs> Reflect lots. Experience is your greatest teacher. Experience is your greatest teacher. Touch the stove, burn and learn. Doing demands debrief and reflection. Take notes, review the day, find insight, talk to other people, go deep into your work and life experiences early in your journey. Get exposed. Now, don't take that the wrong way, all right? Get exposed to lots of people, places, jobs, and entertainments. Don't lock yourself. Do not lock yourself into the known and the comfortable. Get out, reach out, and get experienced in all the possibilities exist. Develop and amplify your people skills. We're in hospitality, ladies and gentlemen. People skills are a fundamental tool in your tool chest of life. Become a master of conversation. Become engaging, entertaining, and a reach out and talk to others type of personality. Create a network. Create a network. Identify and connect with good people. I'm looking at Art Barajas right down here in the front row. We've known each other 30 something years. Give Art a hand. He's my type of guy right there. All of you out there who are graduating, find mentors, ponder their thoughts, 
inventory their insights. Use the knowledge they've given you. Keep in touch with the faculty. Keep this in mind. Keep in touch with the faculty. Your graduating peers, managers and supervisors at the jobs you've worked at, want to work at, or want to avoid. Sometimes we learn most from people who are worthless. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's another lecture. People are your library. This is maybe the most important thing. People are your library. Take those people books off the shelf and read. Let me repeat that. People are your library. Take those people books off the shelf and read. Next is, is basic. Work hard. The journey ain't easy. Just because you've got a college education doesn't mean that the road is going to have a roses thrown in front of you. Hard work is the foundation of success. Nose to the grindstone. Show enthusiasm for what you're doing. I was a bus boy. That's what I saw it as. And I dug it. And that enthusiasm becomes infectious. Show enthusiasm for what you're doing and commit the time and energy needed to complete the job and to do the job right. Next. This is a biggie. Find your distinguishers. I look out there and each of you is a distinct and unique human being. Dare to be different. Do you do you? Because each of you is different and each of you have gifts unique to you. Hone those gifts and let the world know that you are good. Become more interesting. This is an important thing. Become more interesting because people are drawn to interesting people. People want to work with and for interesting people. So what should you do? Read lots widely. Reflect lots often. Travel lots to lots of different places. Write lots reflectively. And talk, talk lots to lots of interesting people lots. Accept responsibility. You've got control of your life. You're not a victim. You've got control of your life. You're not a victim. Develop a can-do mindset. Accept that you are that doing good. Accept that doing good is up to you. No victims here. Think healthy. Live healthy. Eat right, sleep right, exercise right. Stay healthy. Because without your good health, things will get be a lot less exciting, less engaging, and a lot tougher. Be persistent and resilient. You're going to be knocked down, you're going to be roadblocked, you're going to be diverted. You won't get the job. You'll be fired. You'll be passed over for promotion. You'll get sidelined by an injury. It's coming. Anticipate it. Expect it. Toughen up. Right? Your life, a life of adventure that is risk and uncertainty requires persistence and resilience. Identify things you love doing and find time to do those things lots. Nothing is more boring than when you ask a person, what do you love doing? They say, oh, what do you mean? Right? The fact of Know what you love and find time to do it. Connecting with the family, meeting friends, playing basketball, playing with video games, reading books, watching movies. I don't care what you love doing. I like people who have love of what they're doing. They know what it is. Whatever gives you the buzz, find the time and do it. And do it lots. Have dreams and schedule their doing. Dreams are about the future. Later today, later this week, later this month, or later this year. Dreams inspire the present. Dreams inspire the present. Guide the doing and make you feel good. Always have dreams and figure out what needs doing to make those dreams happen. Master the tools. Know how to do the stuff needed to get the job done. Labor law, inventory, plumbing, accounting, finance, operations, etc., etc., etc. Tools are needed to make stuff happen. And making stuff happen is what business is all about. Commit to endless education. Learning never stops. The world changes. We know that from COVID. The world, the, it's a bizarre world that five years ago, none of us could have anticipated. New insights are needed. No better way to enlarge and enrich your life than a commitment to continuous and never ending education. Next, follow your itch. You're young, try lots of stuff. You'll feel what's right and what's wrong for you. You want to find out what's right or wrong for you. Follow your itch and keep exploring until the itch subsides and happiness arrives. When the itch subsides, happiness arrives. And lastly, 
Stay connected with Cal Poly because the faculty, your friends, the classroom experience, the conversations over coffee and Cokes have prepared you to start the journey, to experience the adventure, and to embrace the opportunity. Each of you is about to begin the great adventure. Feel the excitement. Feel the buzz. Prime yourselves for the greatest of journeys, which is life. Graduation opens the door to new horizons, new opportunities, new risks, new rewards. Cal Poly gave you the foundation you'll need to do good. It has primed you for the great unknown, has given you the eyes to see the opportunities that are out there that enlarge and enrich your life journey. You're now officially hospitality. Oh, you soon will be hospitality graduates, right? I'm looking at President Coley right now. It's, they're not yet graduates. <laughs> Ain't yet happened, but when it does, hospitality graduates, you'll be on a mission to deliver the buzz. People always say, what do we do in hospitality? We deliver the buzz, the love, and the glow. That's what it is. And we do it efficiently and effectively. That's a business side, right, Art? But if you don't deliver the buzz, the love, and the glow, you're probably not in the hospitality business. We're delivering it to a world hungry for big happy. The world needs and is desperate for what you hospitality professionals, you hospitality professionals can deliver. You're prepared. You've got the tools. What a how, what a buzz. So thank Cal Poly. Thank your loved ones. Thank your friends. Celebrate graduation. Think positive. Stay energized. And let the adventure begin. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Greg. I need mo no more coffee. <laughs> I now call upon University Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Jennifer Brown, to present the candidates for the Master of Science in Hospitality Management. Provost Brown. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Hospitality Management please rise? <laughs> President Coley, I present to you the candidates for the Master of Science in Hospitality Management degree. These candidates have completed the requirements for the master's degree as prescribed by the State of California and the trustees of the California State University and they have been recommended for their degrees by the faculty of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. Candidates for the master's degree, you've heard the recommendation of the faculty of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. By the authority invested in me as president, mm -hmm. I confer upon you the degree of Master of Science in Hospitality Management with all the rights honors, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations. Ming Yu Wu. <laughs> Xia Ju Ko. <laughs> Sarah May Ang Kabalkar. Huang Win
Congratulations. I now ask Provost Brown to present the candidates for the baccalaureate degree. Provost Brown. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management please rise? President Coley, I present to you the candidates for the baccalaureate degree from the Collins College of Hospitality Management. The, these candidates have completed the requirements for the baccalaureate degree as prescribed by the state of California and the trustees of the California State University, and they have been recommended for their degrees by the faculty of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree, you've heard the recommendation of the faculty of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. By the authority vested in me as president, I confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management with all the rights, honors, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Now, in academic tradition, the student who has not yet earned a degree wears the tassel on the mortarboard on the right side. When the degree is conferred, the scholar moves the tassel to the left and joins a select company. So now in recognition of your new status, not yet, <laughs> will all the recipients of the baccalaureate degree Move the tassel to the left. Congratulations. Thank you, President Coley. Dr. Brown. <clears throat> to the class of 2022, I commend your efforts and your accomplishments. I now ask that Tin and Patrick lead the processional. I ask the students, please, to follow the stage staff's directions to the stage. Crystal Nicole Roberts. <laughs> Tiffany Sabrina O. <laughs> Brittany Martise Schaefer. Sean Edward Mayer. Gloria June Perez Drew. Jesus Antonio Quesada. <laughs> Melissa Perez. Rebecca Shapiro. Jason Lee. Sianna Raquel Sanchez. Harmon Giawen Liu. Devin Janae Clifton. Timothy King Hong Lam. Nicholas Raul Rodriguez. Adam Nicole Angel. Esmeralda Reyes. Sasha Polichuk. Colin Tomatsu Tanahashi. Melinda Sue Lopez. Giovanni Paola Cassianos. Karsten Osichuk. Cody Sean Tang. Janelle Ray Salem. J.D. Patel. Yeah! Cameron yeah. Marin Delgado. Aaron Palmquist. Skyler Ray Ann Madrid. Xing Feng Chen. Anna Tovi. Leah Ariana Quintanilla. 
Alisa Velia Chacon. Zuhua Wu. Chin Hu Nguyen. Ying Wu. Patrick Su. Vivian Town. Adrian Daniel Rivas. Katie Schreiner. Lisette Ramirez Castaneda. Joanne Lau. Shu Tong Hong. Keelan Tang. Brittany Carlisle Wells. Alex Aharonian. Gerardo Felix. Sabrina Colonel. Ming Yin Lam. Tori Fu Thong. Nisha Mo. Kami Tung Huen. Ryan Duck Lam. Alexander Sai. Andy Dai Yu Huang. Henry Lee. Emily Imelda Loisica. Elizabeth Eleanor Garcia. Brooke Ashlyn Wright. Sarah Navarro. Alexis James Eaton. What? Hannah Flynn. Madeline Velasco. Ashley Luann Cole. Amber Lee Mariah Resendez. Gabriela Ramos. Derek Wong. Courtney Tong. Ben Lee. Margo Gonzalez Leibenberg. Michelle Diane Shintaku. Carter Wolpert. Magda Gressus. Evan William Schnabel. Emily Irwin. <laughs> Laura Fabiola and Tolentino Nunez. Sage Montoya. Hao Sheng Tu. Braulio Giovanni Garcia Contreras. Jessica Benavidez Soriano. Alvin Isabella Trachuk. Alvin Lien Lai. Denise Ramirez. Sarah Renee Tate. Albert Joseph Diaz Mundo. Taylor Pai. Mariana Rodriguez Ortiz. Victoria Sabeth Romero. Karina Hernandez. Mandy Liu. Edgar Lopez Perez. Marissa Torres. Huai Nu Vong. Sydney Paula Francis Reed. Heidi Kim. Gabriel Manuel Pena. Samantha Marie Hernandez. Edward A. Padilla. Julian Preciado. Matilda Esperanza Senecal. Francisco Myung Q Han. Mayu Yokoyama. Kelvin Satya Hang. Dylan Sai. Justin Fan. Hannah Saida Tunisa. Belita Pearly Lai. James Celestio. Joanna Aguirre. Natalie Anna Alvarez. Jimmy Lee. And then just tell her your name. Yutong Liu. Sean Lee. Karen Reyes. Diego Preciado. Nicholas Mario Marin. Patrick C. Stepanoff. Amber Lee Sepulveda. Annie Michelle Wu. Ken Chan. Violet X. Williams. Morgan Linnell Taylor Holland. Astrid Corales Torres Colon. Leslie Grissel Roca. Kara Elizabeth Morris. Melina Regosa. Katrina L. Hinker. Ella Long. Maria G. Zambrano. Hu Min Chen. Kathleen Rose Doryman. Blair Robinson. 
Elizabeth An Vo, Chuan Wang, Leslie Rivera, Ian J. Whalen, Delilah Barish, Konika Chen, Kimberly Ann Weir, Taya Dakota Flores, Mackenzie Talon, June Quang Kim, Ileana Crystal Flores, Alexandra Segrero. Antonella Guadarrama. Silu Lee. Adrian Lopez. Susie Kang. Alexandra Elizabeth Valenzuela. Honesty Juliana Villavicencio. Chin Chin Chen. Sabrina Claudette Sicre. Tiffany Tram. Virginie Helene Makuju. Christina Yuen Dang. Desiran Julie Leal. Jocelyn Ung. Robert Fayette. Natasha Alex Wong. Michael Jiang. Valerie Ruiz. Nathan Fan. Melody Bell Carlos. Francis Ann Aniceto Aguirre. Monica Nicole Brukup Laren. Cicely Castaneda. Joshua Lee. Madison N. Peacott. Victoria Nicole Macias. Steven Valenzuela. Sarah Ann Beck. Juana Ortiz Valdez. Clara Rodriguez. Diana Marie Dillon. Roman David Robinson. Matthew Jacob Delaney. Jason He. Alexander Israel Boz. Ty Lee Chan. Elizabeth Noel Steens. Richie L. Wong. Desiree Marie Smith. Kian Wei Lu. Sabrina Nicole Pinillos. Eleanor Tan. Elise Yi Ji Hur. William Yan. Han Hong Pham. Rachel Chian Chen. Kristen Chen. Kaylin Brittany Liu. Rachel Marie Olympio. Ashley Millennia Baum. Delance Elijah Simpson. Jirak Patel. Jesus Salvador Alonso. Tian Chi Mai. Miraj Ahir. Alexis Luna. Natalie Raquel Murillo. Derek Lamb. Paul Tibet. Jacqueline Aguero. Summer Paige Saunders. Graduates, we thank you for all you've done in your studies, your work in our industry, and participating in your student organizations. You are our newest leaders, and we anticipate grand things from you as you shape the future of hospitality. You have now earned membership into the welcoming society of more than 5,000 Collins College alumni working in the hospitality industry throughout the world. Please join me 
in congratulating the Collins College Hospitality Management Class of 2022. I ask, please, for the audience to remain seated during the recessional, and Dr. Lin Chi Kwok, please retrieve the mace. Thank <laughs> you.